I think many of us gave up on the idea of Apple coming out with a new Mac Mini, right? I mean, they went like four years without doing anything. And unfortunately, the last generation of the Mac Mini, well, wasn't that hot and that good of a deal. But fortunately, Apple upgraded them. And this is the machine I've been basically looking for. And that is the new 2018 Mac Mini. And so I pulled the trigger and I bought one. I sold my 2014 MacBook Pro and bought this. And I bought it with the a few upgrades. Got the uh, eighth generation i7, 3.2 gigahertz. So that was like $200 more. And then I upgraded the storage to 512 gigabytes of storage. And that's because I typically will keep my Funnel Cut projects on the same drive as the boot drive. I know that's probably not best practices, but hey, it works for me. And then I got a 32 gig upgrade kit coming in the mail. And finally, uh, because of the rather yeah, not great graphics that are built in, that's that's the Achilles heel of the whole system is the uh, in, uh, Intel G, uh, I keep calling it G, I don't know why, sorry folks, but the Intel 630 integrated graphics just not that powerful. So I popped 300 bucks and I got the uh, Razer Core X eGPU enclosure. And I already had a uh, MSI RX 480 um, graphics card with eight gigabytes of uh, memory on it. So I'm gonna use that for the timing. And I think that will be powerful enough for the foreseeable future, but I can always, you know, up, it's upgradable. So now I can upgrade the memory, I can upgrade the graphics, can't upgrade the internal storage, but with 512 gigs and Thunderbolt 3 ports on this, pretty much, yeah, no, it's a pretty upgradable computer. This is really, you can say it's sort of a pro-level machine, but not really. <laughs> but uh, it certainly made a lot of sense. I was able to sell my um, MacBook Pro for around 900 bucks. So this was like $1,050. And then, um, was it, no, fourteen nine. I'm sorry, it's fifteen hundred. Yeah, you know, it was fifteen hundred dollars, which is a hell of a lot of money for a, a, a Mac Mini. A hell of a lot of money. So fifteen hundred bucks for this. I'm three hundred bucks in the um, eGPU enclosure. Another fifty for a three meter um, Thunderbolt three active cable. So it puts me around eighteen fifty. Sold the MacBook Pro for nine hundred. So you know, I'm like you know nine fifty all in on the new, so that's not bad, right? That's not, that's not terrible. So anyhow, here she is, the new 2018 Mac Mini. And I thought I'd do just a quick unboxing. You, this video, when you watch it, if all goes well, it was edited on this Mac Mini. So let's go ahead and unbox it. I have a knife that requires fingernails, which I really don't have. I don't see any tabs or anything to pull, so I'm just going to go ahead and gently um, open this up. Yeah, you don't want to damage it in any way. Here we go. Come on. I'm not making a dent in this thing. Okay, I'll just do it along the side. I'll just do it along the side here. There we go. <laughs> Ah, uh, the thrill of getting a new computer. I tend to keep my machines for quite some time, believe it or not, even though it might seem like I'm constantly getting... That's because I got my wife a 2015 MacBook. Well, it's actually, for me, it was a 2015 MacBook Pro. Turned out the 2014 actually rendered video faster than the 2015. I guess it's due somewhat in part to the internal graphics card that's built in. So there it is. There's that. Put that away kill myself with a knife. Let's go ahead and open up the box. Let's see how it comes out. Just like so. Wow. It's just amazing to me how much power you can put in such a small form factor. And of course the Windows NUX are very, very nice too. In typical, so I'm looking over at this other camera here. I gotta stop doing that. In typical Apple fashion, fashion Make it really convenient to get it out of there. Wow, very nice. There's the Mac Mini. Go ahead and uh, let's get this. Hear that? Oh, got the nice sound. All there is to it. And there she is. 
in space gray. That's just, it is a beautiful computer. I will say one thing for Apple, is they make very nice looking gear. So let's look at this. There's a, a tape on the front. I gotta get off. Here we go. Except I don't have any fingernails to speak of. Uh, that covers up the ports. That's the nice thing about the new Mac Mini. It's got some nice port selection on it. Unfortunately, it doesn't have an SD card slot. Uh, but that being said, that's all right. So we have your power. I didn't go for the 10 gigabit Ethernet. I'm pretty much a Wi-Fi kind of guy. We have four Thunderbolt, three ports, full-size HDMI port, and two USB three ports, and a headphone jack. And right there is the exhaust fan out the back. And that is really it. And there's a small little indicator for the, I guess, the power on this. Built-in power supply. Nice. I love the form factor of these. Don't take up a lot of room. Unfortunately, <laughs> that eGPU thing's a tank. What else do we get in the box? And we got a pamphlet here. Got your book, booklet. There's a lot of speculation going around on this thing. This, uh, this monitor here and here, you know, because Apple doesn't have their own monitor right now. There's a lot of speculation that Apple, I'll hold this up. The Apple's going to make their own monitor, which would be cool. And of course, the Apple stickers. I don't actually use those. I just kind of hang on to them. And then some type of little warning thing here. That's pretty much it. What else do we have in the box? The power cord. And that's it. That's what you get in the box. There's $1,500 worth of stuff, wouldn't you say? <laughs> Anyhow, now a lot of people say, why didn't you get an iMac? Why didn't you get another MacBook Pro? Blah, blah, blah. All right. Money aside. So I'm, I'm $950 all in on this by selling my old MacBook Pro. You know, I'd be looking around, what, $2,600, $2,700 on the 15-inch MacBook Pro. And I don't need the portability anymore. And yeah, I would still, I'd still be what, around seventeen hundred bucks in or more, even after selling my old Mac, MacBook Pro versus nine fifty. Come on, I can buy a real nice display for that kind of money. So the MacBook Pro, uh, besides, can't upgrade the memory. Uh, you got to do it. You got to do it when you buy it. You got to do it when you buy it. So I don't have to do that. I can do it myself. Of course, I can use any display that I like. With that, and I can upgrade graphics. I can upgrade the graphics with the eGPU. So, um, which would be, I could still do that with the MacBook Pro, but come on. <laughs> You're just adding even more cost. So, that's a non starter. I'm not about to drop five grand or whatever the entry fee is on the iMac Pro. So, it rules all those out. I really don't need a portable machine anymore. I mean, I've got my Asus laptop if I need portability anyway. And, and, of course, the Mac Pro, <laughs> God knows what that thing's going to cost when it's released. And, you know, it's not even technically been previewed yet, so we don't really know anything about it. So as far as I'm concerned, new Mac Mini represents, to me, the overall best value in the Apple lineup. And I bought it to run Final Cut Pro 10. That's, that's the main reason why. But I do like the Mac operating system. Um, I, you know, people say Windows, uh, they, they choose Mac or whatever, what Mac is simpler, whatever. I disagree. I think they're both equally good tools, whatever you prefer. But for me, Final Cut Pro, no, I didn't want to hack and tosh. I love getting the, all the new Thunderbolt 3 ports. I got to come into the 21st century. Right? <laughs> I need to have some Thunderbolt 3 in my life anyway. I love the form factor of this thing. It's just amazingly, just amazingly small. Look at those ports, all the ports you get with this thing. If only it had an SD card slot, that'd really be a happy camper. I am excited to get this machine. I want to get at least five years out of it. So yeah, I just thought I would share this with you and hopefully uh, you'll share with me your thoughts on the 2018 Mac Mini. Comments down below. I'm going to get it all set up. I'll make a video about it. Bruce Naylor, Frugal Tech.
Take care and until the next one.